Hello everyone. So today we are going to make some improvements to our uh, procedural IV tool we worked on yesterday. So today we are what we are going to do is you can see uh, it's not much clear in the distance, but if you go closer, previously we had uh, only one mesh, so it kind of looks same in all the places in along the highway but now what I'm going to do is uh, here as you can see in some cases in some places you have more leaves and some places you have less leaves so there is some organic variation so that's what we are going to work on today All right, so this is what we have worked on so far and now I want to do some improvements to this spline based IV system. So as you can see here, everywhere looks kind of same. So we don't have much of a variation going on along this uh, IVs. So that's what I want to address next. All right. So for that, at the moment I only I am using this SM leaves, this segment, and this IV segment to generate the IV along this spline. So since I only have one of the meshes, I don't have much of a variation. So I'll show you how to do give some make some changes to this mesh simply uh, using blender you don't really need to know much of blender or 3d modeling for that matter it's very simple so all we have to do is x uh, right click on the mesh and export and sm leaves export it as fbx right now open blender when you open blender this is what you get usually delete this box inside so you can basically select and delete and make sure you are in this object mode that's the mode you will have by default also now file import fbx so here we are going to import the model that we exported which is sm leaves let me import it oh this looks different i think we have we are getting the collision mesh also yeah but we can delete it like this so all you have to do is select this by clicking and then go to edit mode and delete faces sorry go back to object mode select press tab delete faces no it didn't work oh you don't have to go to edit mode just select it and delete it inside you have the these meshes okay uh, now so we don't see the textures but that's fine we don't really need to see them here uh, go to edit mode first select this mesh here go to edit mode and now all the everything is selected click somewhere else because we don't need to select everything and go to this face select mode this button and select one of these faces and press ctrl and plus in numpad to select all the meshes related to this leaf and press delete and select faces so you like that you can delete this individual um, leaves so let me select a couple of leaves 
like this just select few meshes that's all and press ctrl plus press couple of times delete faces so this could be one variation so we can export this fbx uh, forward is x in unreal and z is up uh, export this as as um, well i'll use the name iv export similarly I'm gonna make another variation like this and again export fbx select uh, name it as iv3 and the previous changes are there so i don't need to change again okay. so i'll also have a mesh that barely has any leaves perhaps export fpx iv four right now go back to unreal and import those ivs import all so here you get the variations just like this uh, we have to reassign the materials so what you have to do is uh, this is our original IV copy M leaves 3 and paste to second slot now you get the um, leaves do the same thing for other stuff as other uh, variations as well like this okay uh, this material is actually the same color but uh, let's use this the original material in and because it's better to have the same material everywhere even though it's it already looks somewhat same okay now we can delete this too right now we have four, four variations of the same mesh not same mesh of uh, IV segments so what we have to do is go to this PPIV and now this mesh I'll promote this to a variable IV I'll name it IV meshes okay and then let me get some space I'll convert this to an array so change variable type okay so now we can't use it anymore disconnect now we need to get a random element from whatever the available IVs so let me add 4 let me rename this as IV1 
and dial si iv1 iv2 iv3 iv4 compile now get an element from this so how do we get a random element we can get last so last index of this meshes and well we need some space so let me collapse this get mesh go inside so then I'll get a random integer so this max so this will return a random integer uh, between 0 and max minus 1 okay in that case we need to use the length because length minus 1 would be the last index so this part here we will get a random element from these available measures compile now you see some variation along the splines so in some areas you have more leaves some areas you have less leaves so uh, does it look good or bad that's up to you so you can define your measures your elements as you see fit this part is okay right all right uh, now if you don't like this less leafy areas all you have to do is go here remove whatever the mesh you don't want to see and compile now in everywhere you got more leaves but still you see variations say okay hmm. all right so that's all i wanted to work on today so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye